Hello, and welcome to the Programming in Ninox training series. My name is Andy. I'm with Ninoxus Corporation. And in this series of classes, we're going to learn how to write code in Ninox to automate procedures, calculate formulas, and help us take our Ninox databases to the next level of sophistication. A couple of things to know about this training series. First of all, I will rarely, if ever, take shortcuts. I'll always try and explain the complete process in terms of how you do something and why we do it that way. If there are shortcuts, I might discuss that at the end of the class, but these videos are designed to help you understand the Ninox language in detail. So I try and avoid shortcuts because shortcuts cause us to miss certain details that could be critical to your learning and understanding. The second thing is, I'll often repeat things a couple of times to make sure they really sink in. You can fast forward if you like, but these videos are designed to take you from the very beginning of your Ninox programming journey all the way to the point where you can build robust and sophisticated systems and solutions in the Ninox platform. Now to get started, let's talk about where we can put our code. Here we have a completely blank, empty Ninox application. No tables, no fields, no formulas or functions of any kind. So let's start by creating a table, and let's just call this table products. We'll give it an icon and two fields, product number and product name, a numeric and text field. Now that we have our application, our tables, and some fields in those tables, I want to look at the three different code levels that we can use in Ninox. The first code level at the very top is the application level. I can go to my application desktop, options, and create global functions and functions that are to execute every time someone opens or enters this application. This global function or trigger after open code is code that references the entire application or can be referenced from anywhere inside the application. The next level down from application level code is table level code. So here I'm going to go into my products table. We'll go into edit mode for the table and I can see that I have a number of code options here. I can create code that happens every time a new record is created or every time an existing record is updated. I can use code to define when data can be seen and when content can be created within a table. This is what we call table-based code or table-level code. This code applies to all of the objects, which are fields, and layout objects in our table. And then finally at the lowest level we have field level code and this comes in two flavors. Here we have for example our product name field. I can create under more options code that controls when the field is visible, something that needs to happen every time the field is updated, I can even control when the field is locked or unlocked, writable or view only, with code here. These code options apply to this specific field. Now, where it's a trigger after update, code written in this field may affect the contents in other fields, but this is what we would consider field level code. And then finally, that second flavor of field level code is where we just have a formula within the table as an object. This formula field exists entirely of code. And we put the code here in the formula field. This is a block of code that might affect a record, a field, multiple records, all of the records within this table, or even records within another table. But all of the code is contained here in this field object within this table. So we have that very minute construct of field level code as a formula. 
we can attach code to a field object like product number or product name. We have table level code. And then at the top of the food chain, we have application level code, which we access through options. In our next class, we're going to start learning how we write codes. We're going to look at best practices, and we're going to look at how we can actually begin creating automations within our Minox solutions. I'll see you there. Visit us at www.nioxis.com. Here, you can learn about different Ninox solutions. You can get tech support through our Ninox Help Desk, which is available seven days a week, or you can schedule private one-on-one -on -one concierge sessions for training, or we can help you build your application. And if you haven't done so already, sign up for our free Ninox Learning Lab. We do this every Thursday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. in the UK, 6 p.m. Central European Time. These free hour-long sessions enable you to learn more about Minox, features, functions, and solutions. We have open Q&A where you can get answers to all your Minox questions, and you can meet other members of the global Minox community. We look forward to seeing you there.